first day of high school, I got diagnosed with Crohn's disease. It was pretty miserable. I was always sick in bed, but whenever I picked up a deck of cards, I felt healthy or normal. I felt like a superhero. I tried to perform as often as I could. It took my mind off of the pain and the stress. But I was really curious, you know, are my friends just being nice or is my magic really good? I'm gonna put one card in one spot. I started walking up to random people and performing for them. And then this one couple asked me to write down my phone number on a playing card. And that ended up being my first gig. I'm really excited for Penn & Teller to see this act. I wanted to create something that I think that they haven't seen before. I wanted to make something that felt like me. Thank you so much for that warm welcome, Penn and Teller. Before I begin, I just wanted to thank you both, not just for having me on the show today, but for having the show in the first place. Because if it wasn't for Fool Us, there's a very good chance I wouldn't have become a magician at all. It was really watching your show season one back in the day that made me want to give this magic stuff a shot. So thank you for making this incredible platform. And <laughs> Allison, would you like to join me over here? Sure. You can take a seat. Nice to meet you, Allison. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You picked more cards than any human being should ever have to endure. So today, I wanted to give you a break. Oh, thank you. You don't have to pick the card. Instead, all I'd like for you to do is pick the person that will pick the card. Ooh. Okay. okay. So here, we have right a no. joker. Okay. okay. And can you hold this to your heart? To my heart. Now, everybody in the audience, can you imagine that you're holding a card at your fingertips? Really do it. Imagine that you're holding a card at your fingertips. And now imagine that you're holding it to your heart. Now that we have a lot of options, Allison, you can check out that joker. It's just a regular piece of paper, right? Yes. But we're going to use it as a real wild card. So you now get to decide. Can you point to anybody and let us know? Uh, oh, uh, the guy that just waved. OK. Can you let everybody know what was the card that you were thinking of? Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts, okay? Everybody, you can relax. So in, imagine you're actually looking through it. Instead of just seeing what meets the eye, you're actually seeing a Queen of Hearts across the face of the card, two cues in either corner. You have it in mind? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, could you hold out your left hand? And could you take your right hand and put it on top of the deck? Lock it in. Feel the weight of the cards in between your hands and where that joker is touching your bottom hand. And now just visualize it starting to change as though it's changing into the Queen of Hearts. Would you believe me if I said it was done right now? Sure. In your hands. I'm not gonna touch anything. Can you square up that deck, see the queen of hearts in your mind, and now pick up everything and take a look at the bottom card where that joker once was. Do you see the queen of hearts? Thank you so much, Allison. Thank you. you can hold on to that deck. We'll get back to that card in a moment, but in the meantime, Penn and Teller, now it's your turn. Now. For most people, a playing card will never have any real sentimental, meaningful value, unlike, say, a photograph. So last year, I got one of those instant cameras, and I started taking photos at all the different places that I performed at. And I wanted to take this photo with me as a bit of a good luck charm, as well as a reminder of how far I've come to get here. But I'm less interested in my memory, and I'm more interested in one that's really important to both of you. So can both of you get in mind one performance experience, one memory somewhere in America, let's say outside of Nevada, though, somewhere from the road, and just get one really memorable performance experience in mind? Do you both have one? Yes. Got it. Do you both have one? OK. Now, can you both, just like everybody else did, imagine that you're holding a photo of yourselves from that moment, OK, in your hand, and now, Imagine that you're holding it to your heart. And now I'm curious, Penn, just what state was it in that felt right to you? California. California. <laughs> okay. Now I'm curious, Teller, do you have any idea what happened in California that made that pop into Penn's mind? <laughs> no? No. Okay. Penn, can you enlighten us? What happened in California that made that so memorable to you? I did a straitjacket escape and a celebrity who has become rather well-known, tied me in that straight jacket. Wow, OK. So this was a really memorable experience that popped into your mind. I wasn't there with you, you in were. California that day. I couldn't have known about that memory. You were not born. I wasn't born back then. <laughs> OK, so this is really long ago. Wouldn't it be crazy if right now, in this moment, the memories that popped into our mind that we both held dear were somehow in sync? Yes. OK, Allison, can you help me out really quick? Yes. Can you let everybody know, what does it say right here, written right at the very bottom of this photo? 
California 2019. See, this is actually a photo that I took in California last year, and I took it for a very specific reason. I was on my way over to a gig, and just as I was getting into the state, I got a phone call. I got the call I was gonna have the opportunity to be on this show. So I jumped out of my car and I took that photo. And I can't believe out of all of the places that you could have thought of, you thought of California, but I also had a feeling that day as well. And Allison, do you happen to remember the card from earlier? Uh, yeah. What was it? The Queen of Hearts. I had a feeling and I grabbed something that day. Did you happen to notice what I was holding in that photo? Here, ah. I was actually holding the Queen of Hearts, the one card that you were thinking of in California, right at the county line. And I can't believe out of all of the states that you could have thought of, you thought of California. Out of all of the cards that we could have been envisioning, you were thinking of the Queen of Hearts. But here's the thing, every time I look back at this photo, I feel like I'll have a totally new memory attached to it. The feeling of being here on this stage with all of you and how grateful I feel to be here. Allison, do you want to join me over here? Every time I look at this photo, all I'll be able to see is myself standing right here on the Penn & Teller stage. Do you see it too? I do. See, this really is a photo of me now here in Las Vegas on the Penn & Teller stage. Thank you so much, everyone. I now have a new favorite magic memory here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Thank you for making today so memorable. Glay Sarah! I'm still holding your heart. <laughs> That is an incredible, one-of-a-kind trick. Thank you so much. Yeah. I appreciate it. Did you create it all yourself? Yeah, it was, uh, it was kind of building it from the ground up. And I feel like because some of my first exposure to magic was watching Fool Us, every time I worked on developing a routine, I would always wonder, you know, what would they think of this? That's really cool. You watch the show, and now here you are. Yes, yeah. Yeah, and I think that my parents are pretty happy that this was the show inspired me instead of, uh, like, trying out for American Ninja Warrior or yeah. something. Yeah, so you're 20 years old, yes. and you're a magic consultant. Yes, already. yeah. So uh, I, uh, I've been working a lot recently, especially with, uh, with Shin Lim on his show, Limitless at the, at the Mirage. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, especially because, I mean, he was one of the first people that I saw on this show, you know, yeah. back in the day. Okay, it looks like it's time to go to Penn and Teller. <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. Guys, did he fool you? I'll tell you, Blaze, if you are one of the upper covers of magic, magic is in very good hands. Mm. Thank that's you so really much. That's a really wonderful routine. I so really shy. appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so and, you much. know, the first trick you did was just pure, raw skill, sleight of hand. Just a deck, and a person knows how to handle it beautifully. That was just great and perfectly done. Now, um, your friends, because we saw in your package, your friends with our friend Shin Lim, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. And uh, I, is it Shin Lim or Shim? Lim. Shin with an N, it's yeah. N. Shin I always Lim. think it's Shim. So you know, I had Shim in my head watching this whole thing. Mm. Isn't that like it's, a piece of metal? I think. Yeah, it it's is. A, yeah. It's something <laughs> like that. Magnetic Shim. Shin is just fabulous, and he can get all sorts of things to be accomplished. You know, he just has an index in his head of all sorts of things mm. that the Magnetic Shim can do. He's fabulous. <laughs> He's just wonderful. One of my favorite performers yes. anywhere. I just really, really dig him. Let's talk some sports. Okay. You know. <laughs> Yeah. When you are playing baseball, now I know about sports enough to fit on the head of this pen. I know almost nothing, but I do know that baseball is a lot of multiple outs. There's like, what, three, an inning, and then there's nine yeah. innings, there's two teams. There's a lot of outs. And uh, I also know in tennis that when you're tied, you have to win by two points. So you can have add-in. You can have an add-in if you have an you have a advantage. It means the advantage is in. So I just wanted, I don't know what it is you bring out in me, but I want to talk about sports and Shim Lin. Shim Lin, sorry, but that was a fabulous performance. Does any of that make sense to you? Uh, it makes a lot of sense to me, yeah. I, yes, they know they are very smart guys, and I am so grateful that I had the opportunity. Oh, you're to great, man. Because, you're great. Like, thank Future you so Madison, much. Good thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much.